Hey guys, Tim here. Just thought I'd take you through a little bit of the progress on the EVGA Hadron teardown that I'm still doing. So getting the, the power supply is about to go out to be sleeved. Uh, I'm going to send it out to Lustro Customs. Lustro. I'll put this uh, link down in this video and also when we get the power supply back. Um, so basically, I decided to uh, unrivet the entire case. As you can see, we're in 47 pieces here. Uh, the one, you know, I took off the bottom, uh, which is right here. Uh, took off that foot, uh, which unfortunately, uh, if you can see right here, the foot connects here. So without putting the foot back, that front foot back on, um, you're not going to be able to hide the screw holes. So I will put the front bar back on, but on the back I'm going to put on something that's the same size so that it actually fits. Um, as you can see, there's just a lot of places on this case that aren't painted. So the next thing I have to do, um, besides take off the power button, of course, there's the front panel, is uh, figure out if I want to strip it myself or send it out to be stripped. Um, it's kind of thin metal. You know, it's, it's a little bit, I'm worried if I sand it, I might warp uh, the case. So I might have to find somebody that does either dry ice uh, blasting, which is like sandblasting, but a little gentler on the parts, or someplace I can take it and get it dipped. Um, it's gonna be a while for the the power supply to come back anyways. Um, so I think I'm going to send it out, get it dipped. Uh, I might see if one of the, the mod shops has time to do it and paint it and rivet it back together for me. Um, you know, it's definitely, I need to do whatever cutting I want to do uh, before or at least mark out what cutting I want to do, but I'll probably do the cutting myself. And, you know, that way uh, I can I can fine tune it to what I want and then you know be able to have it painted. I don't know if you know like I said I don't know if I want to have it painted or um, if I'm going to see if I can get an auto body shop to do a a quick coat on it for me or two. Uh, it would be nice to have kind of a I don't know if I want a glossy look to the case, but you know I'm I'm thinking I need something color other than black. Um, you know, if I'm going to go through all this work to mod the case, I kind of want, you know, to stand out. So, I was thinking maybe white, because that really pops, and I can put like a nice white enamel on it, and it would go really well with uh, the black front. So, I can do a black and white theme, which tends to be the black and white, or blue and white and black, tend to be the themes that I do a lot of. So, I was thinking about doing like black and white and gray on this build. Um, you know, I think once we get it all back together... Uh, get the H100 in the top. Uh, my plan is to put uh, the uh, R9 AMD, the R9 uh, 29290X, excuse me, uh, in this case, depending on how loud it is. Uh, either that or I'll wind up putting a Titan in this case. So we'll see. The thing I like about the Titan is you can trade performance for... Um, sound basically so you know you can set up some some custom curves uh, nobody's seen the new AMD software yet so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've done along the same lines because um, sometimes you know if you guys if you just need like you know 80% output from your card and you can you can trade heat for for noise then sometimes it's worth it but if like if I'm rendering I want to be able to go up to you know a, a quicker curve on the the fan just so that the part doesn't overheat all the time so uh, that's about it let me know oh that's ha uh, uh, there was one other thing so I'm gonna try and I'm, I'm probably gonna fail horribly but I'm gonna try to put the um, the LCD the retina LCD I bought uh, in the side with the window which I don't know where that is or I would show you uh, it's back behind the camera somewhere, unfortunately. It's that way. Um, but it, it happens to be very close to the same size. So what I was thinking about doing was mounting this in the plexiglass window, making a custom frame around it, 
and then you could have you know whatever you want displayed on here you'd have to put a little controller you know package on the back but that way you could actually you know drive it off of you know because we have you know the the outputs there I can make a custom spot but I could drive the retina display off of the video card as well and you know it might be kind of cool that would probably be the last thing I try to do because I can always take that piece of plexiglass out and put it you know get it a custom piece put that in um, but basically I'm just trying to make a mobile editing rig uh, you know a LAN rig something that I can take you know if we go to like Vegas or something and do editing but I also you know if we have meetings I want people to see that, you know, this is something that I'm serious about, that the channel is serious about. Um, I'm no MNPC tech by any way, shape, or form. Uh, they do definitely inspire me to try to do this kind of stuff. So, uh, mad props to them, especially on a couple of their recent builds. They look really good. And, and if you guys want to see really good case mod uh, videos, follow them on Twitter. It's MNPC t-e-c-h at twitter so at mnc pc tech uh, and bill puts a lot of their uh, build guides up there which are really good to read through and usually there's a video but there may just be photos um, but they're definitely like the most recent one that just drove you know like oh my god i can't believe anybody would do that is they put a mirror like finish on on a case so that's a lot of sanding and a lot of buffing you know like more than you would do for a car in most cases so that's all I can say. Leave me any comments. Uh, the next video update <clears throat> should at least have a stripped case and me starting to cut holes in this sucker. Um, however, depending on how busy I am, it might be me getting the power supply back sleeved. So, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Please subscribe, guys. We'll see you next time.